welcome. Hi everybody, welcome to and um <laughs> to bringing the zoo to you. Uh, my name is Erin and I'm one of the animal care specialists here at the zoo. Today we're going to be doing a training session with Hudson, our polar bear. Anne is also an animal care specialist, so she's going to be moving him around. Um, Hudson is a, was born here at Bridgefield Zoo. He is our male polar bear. He is 13 years old and was born. And he does training every single day. He is about a thousand pounds and he stands about 10 feet tall. He, Hudson is both a carnivore and he's a marine mammal. He's considered a marine mammal since wild polar bears spend the majority of their lives on sea ice. Polar bears are extremely intelligent, so we're going to try to demonstrate to have him show you many of the skills that he's learned through positive reinforcement training. Training is absolutely one of the best parts of our jobs, and most of the animals you see here at Brookfield Zoo, um, including birds, reptiles, mammals, um, also participate in training on a regular basis. Animal training has a huge impact on animals' uh, physical, emotional, and mental welfare. Hudson is extremely intelligent, so we're always working on new behaviors. If you guys all have pets at home, we want to make sure that you are um, having a good effort at trying to train your animals, and it can be anybody from a dog, cat, birds, rats, rabbits, anybody at all. Training is really um, a positive um, interaction that you can have your animals. It's fun for them, and it could be fun for you. When, train when we are training Hudson, we're always offering positive reinforcement for him. And for Hudson, it's something that he really, really likes to eat. Um, as you can see, Anne moving around here, she's got a couple of buckets hanging there. And Hudson loves, um, he loves meat, fish, granola bars, <laughs> lard, and he also loves peanut butter a lot. So that's one of the big um, treats that we give him when we're training some new behaviors. Uh, most of the uh, behaviors we train assist us with all of his uh, daily and his medical care. And training also helps us to get Hudson active and interacting positively with the keepers and the veterinary staff. Some of the behaviors that Hudson is trained to do, and you're going to see Anne is walking him around doing this, is standing up, where you'll see him on his hind legs with his feet up front, and he's also opening his mouth. For his opening his mouth, we're going to see uh, the inside of his mouth, we can look at his teeth, look at his tongue. There he goes. <laughs> Open it nice and wide for us so we can get a good look at that. Hudson also knows to give us his paws. Then we can look underneath his paws so we can get a good look at his nails, his fur. And he knows both paws. So sometimes when she's using her left hand, he needs to give his right paw. And when um, she gives him her right hand, he needs to give his left paw. So that way, you can always get a good look at all of his feet. That's a good one. And as she is moving Hudson from location to location, so that way we can get him to move around whenever we need to, so we can get a good look at his overall body condition. Hudson does know how to sit. He's obviously very excited to participate in this training. So sometimes he'll offer a lot of different behaviors um, to try to get a reward really, really quick. So you can see that maybe your pets at home are also begging for behaviors because they're super excited to see what you get. So you can see he's excited. Training is one of the best parts of working at the zoo because animals are fantastic to work with. They get excited, we get excited, and everybody benefits from that. Um, in addition to our regular behaviors that we are doing here, and for our um, presentations that we do for the public, we also do some really advanced behaviors. Um, we have an emergency recall. So if there's a big thunderstorm moving in and we're a little concerned about tornadoes, we um, squeeze this extra really loud noise and Hudson comes running. He knows what an emergency recall means and he knows to drop what he's doing and run back to the keepers. He also is really, really good at a voluntary hand ejection. Uh, veterinary staff, whenever he needs a regular um, treatment, he knows to come up to the keeper, lie down, and either the keeper or the veterinary staff can give him those injections. He went through a, uh, a study that he actually were able to collect his saliva, so he opened his mouth just a little bit and we could send that stuff down into his gums right between his teeth and collect all that saliva. He also does a voluntary blood draw, which is a new behavior for him, which is really pretty fantastic. He'll offer us 
his paw and the veterinary staff was able to shave the hair and were able to poke him with the needles and collect blood, which is really um, a, a fantastic job. Very trusting for him and for us to get that done. We also have, in addition to our regular behaviors, we have a very fun behavior, which is painting. So we'll give Hudson a lot of time to actually paint for us. Um, he will sit down and he'll use either his paws or his mouth and he can move the paintbrush all around, which he really, really loves. It's a lot of fun for everybody. Do you guys have any questions about the training that we do, um, any of the things that Hudson does? Uh, what are you feeding him right now? Ann is feeding him a variety of food. He gets some, she has some peanut butter in there, some big pieces of meat. The peanut butter is the favorite. Um, he also has fish, granola bars. What's his favorite treat? <laughs> That's the omnivore that she's giving him to. His absolute favorite is the peanut butter. Uh, can you remind us how tall he is? And when he's standing on his hind legs, he's about 10 feet tall. Is this the closest that you get to the polar bears? Yes, it's, um, we always have a barrier between us and the polar bears. And you can see Hudson's really loving that peanut butter. His <laughs> eyes are closed. He's just happy as a clam. How long does it take him to learn a new skill? It depends on the skill. Some behaviors he learns instantly. Um, when he was learning his sit behavior, the keeper just saw him sit and let him know that that was exactly right and he was super excited and the second time the keeper asked, he sat right away. Um, it, it just depends on the behavior and it depends on what you see. Um, a lot of the more advanced behaviors take a little bit longer because you have to go step by step. But they, he is very highly food motivated, so he's excited to start learning. And he'll always offer different, uh, different um, positions of his body until he gets that whistle that tells him he's doing exactly the right thing. What other polar bears are at Brookfield Zoo? We also have a female polar bear, uh, Miss uh, Nanny Yak. And um, all of our animals move to different locations um, after uh, the, well, our exhibit, so they'll move back and forth. They can change every single day. So it might be in any exhibit which we have, either the male polar bear, the female polar bear, or any of our brown bears. They kind of move around. How oh, many teeth does good. a polar bear have? <laughs> um, and you know. That's a really good question. I think they have around 32 teeth. I could be wrong, but you can see they have some gaps and some different things so that they can grip food really well uh, behind those back canines. Open. So he's got some gripping, some openings to grab the uh, prey items really well and hold on to them. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's 32, but I could be wrong. How does he do in our hot Chicago summers? <laughs> Hondo's pretty, or, um, Hudson's pretty good at relaxing. He likes to lay down. A lot of times he will sit in the water and rest his head on a lot of that, um, the rock work that's in there. But also it, where he is off, whenever he is um, off exhibit, he has a nice cool area to relax in. We have chilled holdings and chilled pools as well as well as an ice machine that we can use to keep them cool in the in the summer times. How much food does he eat every day? He eats about 15,000 to 25,000 calories in a day, uh, depending on the time of the year. We're going to go this way and see how tall he is. Can you explain what the target is, that red and white object? That's one of the first behaviors that we ever train any animal, and that's to get him to put his nose to that. We want him to look for it, that way we can get him interested and in moving around. It's sort of a basic behavior is the target behavior. How big is his paw? <laughs> um, it's 12 inches in diameter on the back side. It's, it's like a big dinner back. plate. Uh, does he ever interact with the brown bears? Um, they, they live close to each other, so usually they don't have hardly any interaction together. Um, but they can smell each other and they can hear one another too. How much does he weigh? He weighs about a thousand pounds and it varies uh, throughout the year depending on the season. Um, usually it's in the, you know, in the 900s to over a thousand. At what age do you begin training? Under a year. Around, around a year. And can you remind us how old Hudson is? He was born in 2013, or I'm sorry, 
He's 13 years old. He was born on December 14th. Do polar bears shed? Yes, they do. They have three layers of fur. They have an undercoat and then an overcoat. And they do shed that outer coat. It's clear and hollow and it reflects the light to look white, but he does shed that out in the spring and summer. So I'm sorry, Hudson's actually 14. He turned, uh, he turned 14 in December. What's his main diet? He, he's a, he is a large carnivore, so we always make sure that he has um, fish, he gets meat, he gets lots of different bones. Um, but he also likes lettuce, carrots, um, and then throughout the season, especially in the spring, summer, and fall, he also gets different treats like um, apples, fruit, he likes avocados, melons. We'll also give him watermelons, um, which they do, do like a lot. How long is his tongue? Uh, I'm not sure, maybe, maybe eight inches? It's a good question. I'm not really sure. Maybe about eight inches. Uh, it's, um, can you tell that it's a different color, that it's purple and spotted? Oh, why is it good purple? Boy. I don't know. I wonder if it's the same as like a chow. I don't know if it's a species thing. I'm not sure. Ooh, or maybe like giraffes so it doesn't get sunburned? Maybe like giraffes so it doesn't get sunburned. <laughs> He's got that it's skin good. that's yeah. black. So it's... Yep. The rest of his skin is all black, so I'm guessing his tongue is as well. Can you remind us where they live in the wild? There's five distinct polar bear nations. There's the United States, Canada, Russia, Denmark, and Greenland. How many cubs do they usually have at once? Uh, usually it's one to two. Do polar bears make any noises? They definitely do. He makes a really soft chuffing noise. He also makes a really loud roar when he gets upset. Where was Hudson born? Hudson was born here at Brookfield Zoo. How fast can he run? <laughs> They're not very fast. They can run, I think, about 25 miles per hour. Um, they're more of sprinters than long distance, although they can swim long distances. How do the bears move from one habitat to another? Uh, behind the scenes, we actually have a different setup so that we can move them from location to location based on a hallway. I'm running out of food. Thank you for joining us at Facebook Live, and we'll catch you again soon. You want to do a high five? Let's do a high five. If everybody wants to hang out with Hudson, go ahead and put your hand up to the camera. Erin's going to put her hand on the glass. So you guys join me. Put oh. your hands up here. Hudson. <laughs> Hudson Paw. Big high five. Good boy. <laughs> We'll see you guys again soon.